In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to run the stick concept or triangle read concept out of the gun bunch formation of Madden 23. Um, you can actually run this out of any formation, any playbook, but I do think that this this concept is very helpful for uh, any of the people that like to run gun bunch. And we're going to pair the stick concept with a seam wheel concept as well. It's going to be really good and really effective for attacking any kind of zone defense. We do have some stuff in this concept for man coverage as well. Now, if you want to get my entire uh, gun bunch ebook make sure that you join the patreon the link is going to be in the description for just 10 bucks you're going to get access to all of my man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks and again the link is in the description you can run this concept out of literally anything at all especially this year because of the addition of the seam wheel into your hot routes um, and we're going to utilize mesh post but like i said you can literally run this out of anything um, you can i actually really like to run it out of flood as well so anyways um, here's how you run it or at least my version of stick from bunch. So what we're going to do with this play is we're going to basically take advantage of the post route against man-to-man -man coverage. If you don't know, this post route is really good against man coverage. Stick is really designed to be a triangle read and a read that is really designed to beat zone, but it does have some man-beating principles as well. So all we're going to do for this is we're going to hitch that slot receiver. We're going to out route the solo receiver. And if you want to, you can go ahead and motion this guy out. They're probably going to think you're running some type of flood concept. What in reality is you're running the stick concept now what you're going to see is against man coverage the a couple reads that i like to make the first one is the post route over the middle of the field um, the second one is the running back late if i have time uh, to hit him i'll show you that in just a second we'll show you how to throw that against man coverage um, but what you'll see here is we're going to isolate Basically, this defender over the middle of the field, you see that post route is going to be very effective at beating man coverage. Now, chances are um, your opponent is probably going to use that over the middle of the field. So if your opponent decides that he's going to sit on this post route, which 90% chance is, is, is very likely that he's going to do that, then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to hold left trigger and basically freeform and highball this wheel route over the top of the user. As you saw right there, just kind of standard outside shade of man, still not going to be very effective for uh, – for guarding this wheel route so you have the ability to hit that now another little thing that i, I did want to mention is let's say you do have hot route master i love to run this flood play the reason why is because i want to put the slot receiver on the on the post and then the hit route to cd lamb and then i can actually use this really good um this really good um flat route from the tight end that's in the play flood it's only in the play flood the flat route from mesh post is okay but it's definitely not as good as the as the flat route from flood so if you do have hot route master i recommend go ahead and create mesh post from this play and then you can mix up who's on the, the post route and who's on the hitch and this way if they play man coverage now your flat route is also going to be a read in your you know in your play now stick is really designed and it's really best utilized to attack any kind of blitz whether it be a man blitz whether it be zone blitz it doesn't really matter it's any kind of blitz and essentially what we're looking for is where does the user go does the user go to the to the right or to the left if the user goes to the left then we're going to throw the ball to the right if the user goes to the right then we're going to throw the ball to the left so as you see right here we're just looking okay he goes left we throw right right to our hitch super quick so you see how we can really take advantage of uh, any kind of any kind of pressure whatsoever. The same is also true if they are in man coverage. So like right here, for example, this is a man coverage. Stick is not the best man beater, as I've already stated. But what you'll see here is if they blitz these linebackers, then I can throw the ball quick, try to break a tackle, and you know see what happens. If they blitz the the right side as well, then what I can also do with stick is and this is why flood i think is such a good play to run stick out of is you'll be able to see here i can throw the ball quick to my tight end if he would actually run his route so i you know i have these quick reads on both sides uh is all i'm trying to show you here so you know again if i want to run it for, and i can run flood exactly like mesh post just do it like this especially if i have the hot route master then you can see here that i can throw the ball you know quick to the flat to the tight end 
So, you know, bottom line being, um, you know, this play is really good. Now, again, it's 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 designed to beat man. Uh, or, I'm sorry, it's designed to beat zone. Uh, so, if you know that it's man coverage, there is some things that you can do uh, to actually make it a little better against man. One of those things being um, run the play flood because you have the better flat route. Another one of those things is to take this left side player and create man beaters within it. So, for example, instead of having, you know, this is your core your core concept, right? But now what we're going to do is we're going to C-route Michael Thomas, we're going to table route Keith Byers, and run the play like this or something like this, right? So now if they blitz me in man, then I can throw the flat on the right or I can throw the C-route on the left side. Another thing that I like to do with stick, um, because, you know, if I'm anticipating any kind of pressure, I love to just simply block this running back. Um, you can still run the stick concept. You still have the triangle read aspect of this play, but now you're able to actually block and give yourself a chance to hit, you know, maybe hit the C route on the left side. So, you know, again, it's not the it's not the best man beating concept. There are ways that you can make it better, um, specifically against man coverage. Right. Um, another one of my favorite variations of stick is you can actually run it like this. But just in, you're just going to basically do it like this now. So now your out route is going to be your your primary man beater, and you can block your running back. So you're still getting at the same basic thing. Now, like I said in the intro, where this play really shines is any kind of max coverage zone um, where they're trying to take away the flats on both sides. So like right here, they're going to try to take away these flat routes. And even if you're in a play like mesh post, for example, you see they go to the left, then I can, or they go to the right, then I can throw that seam wheel to the left. If they go to the left, then I can throw the hitch more than likely on the right. So that's how this play, you know, really does a, I think, a really good job of, you know, kind of hanging in there against really any situation, specifically in zone, is you'll see right here, like they throw there, now I can throw right in that little pocket. And so this makes it a pain to try to defend any of your flood concepts to the outside. Because in order for them to defend your flood concepts to the outside, they have to have basically two flats. They have to have a high flat and a low flat, which is a drop eight coverage already. And then if we have this kind of concept built within this, then all of a sudden you're going to have your running back running wide open down the middle of the field or your hitch on the other side. Another route that's like super underrated um, specifically against any kind of pressure is if they are running any kind of pressure, let's say that their user decides, okay, I'm going to go take away that you know, quick hike throw to the running back or whatever. Then where you want to look is you want to look right over the middle to your post. Now, again, that's the main read, and that's the home run read against cover zero if they're giving it to you, okay, if they're giving it to you. So look for that high ball post against any kind of any kind of man pressure. Most people aren't going to run man if you show that you can actually beat it. And this play, I think, to a degree, can hang just fine with man if they do get it unexpectedly. But where it really shines is, you know, against zone coverage. You'll see here, this is match coverage. You see that post route's going to still be able to, again, kind of put the user in no man's land. If the user decides, hey, I've got to go guard, I've got to go guard that post route out of mesh post, then all of a sudden, your hitch is going to be standing wide open just like this right here. So this is how I like to run stick. There's several different ways uh, to run stick. Let me give you another example real quick. Another example would be something like this right here. We can run this quick play over here and give ourselves a backside man beater over here on the other side. So if you want something a little bit better for man, that's another version of the play. The beauty of that is what you get here is you're going to get a clear out for your post. You're going to get a shoot route for your back. And then if all breaks down, now all of a sudden you've got yourself a, a concept over the middle of the field that you can hit uh, with if, if it's man coverage. So this is another variation of stick that you can run um, that is still really effective, still gets at the same idea of a triangle read in the middle of the field. But you also now give yourself options just in case they are in any kind of cover zero blitzing uh, pressure. So that's how I like to run stick. I think stick is one of the top five passing concepts in Madden. You must have this concept in whatever offense it is that you're running because it's going to take your offense to the next level. If you want to learn more about this offense in general, make sure you join the Patreon. The link is in the description for just 10 bucks. You'll get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks.